So we're standing here on Kahuku Beach on the east side of Oahu, which happens to be where I'm from, the east side of Oahu, but it's also the dirtiest section of the coastline of all the island. The problem really started getting noticed really about 10 years ago, and it's really just gotten worse from that point. With Hawaii being in the middle of the North Pacific garbage patch, our northeast trade winds tend to skim across it and bring the debris to the eastern side of our islands. But then there are also spots like the very bottoms of the south points and the north points that also accumulate marine debris. The vast majority of the marine debris that we collect is coming from Asia. You see a lot of kanji writing, a lot of things from Japan, uh, places like Korea. There's a lot of fishing industry that their effects are coming up onto our coastlines like the hagfish industry, the oyster industry, specifically the hagfish traps and the oyster spacers. Now, with social media, with uh, companies trying to figure out ways to use this marine debris, and uh, the just overall arching desire for a lot of people to start caring, it's bringing attention to the issue now. On Oahu, when you come to a beach like this on the east side, it depends on how many local people and tourists come to this beach. For example, no one's here today, it's just us. And what you're gonna find on the beach is gonna be about 90% marine debris and 10% land-based debris. It really depends where you are and the amount of streams coming out to that beach, um, the amount of people that visit that beach, and where the wind's coming from. Overall, at Sustainable Coastlines, we've had over 17,000 people participate in our beach cleanups, and we've almost removed 100,000 pounds of marine debris to date. My point of view on how to solve the problem of, of marine debris is to first let people understand the problem. And I really like the, the slogan you guys have where it's learn, share, and act. Because that's really important. Most people don't even realize that this is a problem. So that's why for us, it's getting people onto the beach to see the problem for themselves. It's really easy to talk about the problem, but when you're actually out there cleaning it up, it really makes the impact that, you, that is needed for you to make the lifestyle changes to solve this problem.